Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I will guide you on how to convert orthographic views to isometric views. In case you haven't subscribed to this channel, consider subscribing for more educational content. Watch the whole tutorial for important tips. This is the 3D shape, isometric shape, we will use in this tutorial. These are the various shapes that are coming together to form the isometric shape. Now, let us take apart the shape to see its orthographic view. Pay close attention to the demonstration. Have you seen how its orthographic shape looks? And their position? Now, let us bring the orthographic views 2D together to form the isometric view 3D. Watch the demonstration carefully. So, when an orthographic view like this is given, this is how its isometric view will look. Now let me guide you on how to solve this question to better understand the concept of converting orthographic view to isometric view. Pause the video and read this note very well before you proceed. Watch the demonstrations. Drawing the isometric axis is key when it comes to isometric drawing. Watch the demonstrations well and practice to learn how to draw the isometric axis. I am using a 30 degrees slash 60 degrees set square because I am drawing the isometric axis and do not use any other set square. Again, pause the video and read this statement very well. All the key notes brought up in this tutorial are to be taken seriously because they are key in solving questions under the topic, conversion of orthographic view to isometric view. Watch the demonstrations carefully and try to practice. Now that I know the highest height, width and length, I will draw a box using these measurements. Watch the demonstrations.
box drawn will help me draw the actual shape. Watch the demonstrations and see how I will draw the actual shape. I am marking the dimensions one by one, after which I will project each mark. Have you seen that within a short possible time, I have finished drawing the actual shape. The box and the freehand sketch I did have helped me a lot. I will clean the excess lines, but note, it is optional, you may leave them. Watch and see what I will do. Outline your work. For outlining, you must do it to make the actual shape stand out. To do this, change the pencil from 2H, which is hard and gives faint lines, to 2B, which is soft, broad, and gives dark deep lines that make the actual shape be seen clearly. This is how you convert orthographic view to isometric view. If you find this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel for more tutorials like this. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.